Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Nebraska men's basketball announced that their game at number 19 Ohio State scheduled for Saturday, January 22nd in Columbus has been postponed due to health and safety protocol within the Husker program. The programs will coordinate with the Big Ten Conference office to try to reschedule the game. Nebraska women's gymnastics meet against Illinois scheduled for Friday, January 21st at the Bob Devaney Sports Center has also been postponed due to safe health and safety protocols within the Illinois program. The program will coordinate with the Big Ten Conference office to look at the possibility of rescheduling the meet. Nebraska track and field head coach Gary Pepin announced that the hiring of a new director of operations today, Cody Brusek, will serve in that role for Nebraska track and field going forward. He had previously served in the same role at the University of Notre Dame for their cross country and track and field program since 2017. Brusek hails from Wahoo, Nebraska, and attended both Dana College and Nebraska Wesleyan as a multiple-time all-conference student-athlete. Over to college basketball tonight in the Big Ten, just one men's game, and that's number four, Purdue, and they're taking on Indiana at 13-4. and four. The Hoosiers are the hosts, and that one is just underway, or just about to be underway. It looks like Tip got pushed back a little bit. And then on the women's side, number 12, Maryland, is in Columbus taking on 13-3 and three Ohio State. They're at the half with the Buckeyes leading 45-37. to 37. Wisconsin just tipped off with number 8, Michigan. And at 7 p.m., it will be a trio of games. The first, Iowa taking on Minnesota. Second, Purdue and Illinois will also tip at 7. And it will be the Nittany Lions scrapping with the Wildcats as Penn State takes on Northwestern. That one at 7 o'clock as well. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhaupt, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Looks for high beat, foul line extended right side. Dribble penetration, Sammy drives and scores! Jim Ivey! Great finish by Nebraska, they're back within a possession. Here's McGowan's driving the ball to the rim and jams it right in the face of Payne. Posterized him. Put him on the poster. Burge puts his head down, drives it, floater off the rim, in and out, offensive rebound, put back! Up and good by Walker! Up and good by Big D! Moriarty gonna take the baseline. And now she's gonna drive underneath reverse layup! Good for Kendall Moriarty, are you kidding me? Now that is a big time, one-handed, Reverse layup by Moriarty. 12.45 to go. Here's Trey McGowan's with a three. Got it! Trey McGowan's, his first three-point attempt of the year. After sitting all these games with a broken foot, his first shot is gold. 82-73, then an Iowa lead out top. Markowski for three. You betcha! Markowski has hit six threes. Unbelievable. And she's got 27 points. Here are your hosts. Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. My first order of business tonight, Tim, you are canceled. You're canceled unless you can clean up that report. Gosh, everything's getting canceled, oh, Jessica. I, uh, you're canceling him for telling the news about cancellations? Uh, more today. <laughs> uh, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? I know. I mean, it just, uh, <sighs> we, we've talked about how this, this time of year, there's always a good basketball game on and you get so excited and it seems like, you know, you can watch the women and then you watch the men, you wait a day and then you get to watch them play again. And, and, um, we're gonna have to wait a, a little bit longer to see them back out on the court again. Well, as Tim told you, uh, the men canceled for their Saturday game. And, and usually when you lose one, you're going to lose multiple games. And I would anticipate that to be the deal. The next men's game is Tuesday with Wisconsin, the next women's game, which was to have been tonight, which we knew a couple of days ago was not going to happen, is to be Sunday with Illinois. And I just, I don't, I just don't see it. I mean, usually when you go into protocol, it's a seven to ten day deal, and so do the math. That's not going to be by Sunday or by Tuesday. Well, and especially if you think about just the timing of it, if one player got it and then you know a lot of these players live together, or maybe they didn't know that they had it, and then you know. With as uh, much as it spreads, you you never know. It might take a couple days, and and so uh, that's another thing is like you, you one player might have it, and then it might be two days later, and then you never know. Just as much as they're around each other, there's no way to completely avoid them being around each other when, especially when you don't know when you have it and you don't have it. Crazy. Now it was almost a year ago that Fred Hoiberg's team started a 28-day layoff. I was assured today by several people around the program it's not going to be that long. They, they're confident that it's not going to be almost a full month before they play again. That's the good news. And then you just worry: can they get some of these games rescheduled? Particularly in the case of the women, 
who are really on a nice run here and I, are going to be a postseason team. You don't want them to lose that momentum that they built up, and you want them to keep building the resume. Absolutely, and we talked about how disappointing it was to lose, you know, as as tough as a stretch as they just kind of got through. You, you thought felt like you had two very winnable games uh, right here uh, tonight should have been tonight and, and Sunday. Hopefully, you know, we'll see about Sunday's game. Maybe it's on. Maybe it'll get pushed back a day. But hopefully they can at least get that one in and then get the Rutgers game rescheduled because it's just important to have those home games. And, um, you know, I just – there you, it wasn't just the momentum building with the team. It was also the momentum building with the fan base and, and the support around this team. I mean, look at the last two games that were inside PBA and the attendance. I mean, they, they – what was the attendance record? They set something maybe for women's college basketball this season, I think, or one of the high, one of the it largest was, crowds. It was the third largest crowd in, in Nebraska history. And then it was like one of the largest for, for the all of women's basketball yeah. this season. Yep. So, you know, just the way that, you know, it was kind of – they were getting some buzz and getting – so you, you hope to get that home game back because that atmosphere has been awesome for, for women's basketball. Now, Rutgers has had a couple of other cancellations, so they're – they may be harder to get back on the schedule. I don't, I don't, and Illinois may be too, but you're right. I think there may be a little bit of hope that maybe they can get a game in next Monday or Tuesday uh, with Illinois before that gets too far away. I think the women are in better shape than the men. The women have some injury situations. Right. The rules by the conference is you have to have seven healthy scholarship players. And so neither the men or women are, are there right now. The women, though, Sam Hybe's shoulder, we talked about Bella Craven still coming back from that thing. And I think there's another injury that may have occurred as well. So I, I think they – it's kind of a 50-50. The men, it's a little bit more on the COVID side. Yeah, and, and you know, maybe this will be kind of a um, a little bit of a, a bright spot when we look back at it later to give maybe Sam Hivey a, a little bit more time. That's exactly right. To yeah. get healthy because that that's a player that you've got to have to go on a deep run. I mean, as, as much as they've got so many offensive weapons and – We've seen Sam at times even kind of defer to her teammates this year because that's the kind of player she is. We've also seen how absolutely dominant she can be and how she can take over games. And you got to have a player like that. They need her to make a run, any kind of run in a Big Ten tournament, the NCAA tournament. So if maybe, you know, this could be a positive that there aren't games you can – you know, take your time, get her healthy and not rush her back. Because on top of, you know, the – if maybe you – she was maybe feeling like she had to rush back because of the COVID and all of that and, and trying to, you know, make sure that this team had a body. But now that, um, you know, this it's been canceled, get some time, get healthy, and, and maybe it'll be a positive when we look back on this later in the season. Sure could. Fred Hoiberg is going to meet with the media tomorrow. Maybe he'll be able to shed some more light on it. But if you have tickets – to the Tuesday game with Wisconsin, I would not hold my breath that that game is going to happen. Again, one usually turns in to multiple games, and we've seen teams go into the COVID protocol just because of the time. Once you get a positive test, you got per the CDC, you've got to sit a certain amount of days. And so I think it's probably a week to 10 days away before we see the men play again. I'm hopeful that the women are, are quicker uh, back on the court. Um, I want to talk about a little history. I'm going to talk a little history with everybody tonight. And I'll mention some of our audience is going to pick this up immediately. The name Edwin Perkins. Edwin Perkins was from Hastings, Nebraska. And he developed Kool-Aid. I don't know if you knew that. Kool-Aid oh. was developed in Hastings, Nebraska. Yeah, I, th I think I knew that, but there I didn't go. know the name. Edward Perkins. Because right now, I think Husker fans are kind of on the Kool-Aid Kool a little bit right now with this football program, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. And people accuse you and I all the time of that, and that's fine. It's, that's uh, It comes with the territory for us. But there's a nice buzz about Husker football right now with what has happened. We had Coach Applewhite on last night. We've heard from some of the new players on the team, including DeColdis Crawford earlier in the week. But there is legitimately a good buzz right now. Yeah, I, I saw after DeCol we posted DeColdis interview, and there were, I think there was a couple fans that even actually said that, okay, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just – I said it, you know, when we were talking about DeColdis and the recruits being here on campus, you know, I was, when I was down there and they're taking their photos, it, it's just, um, there's, there's a different buzz that you can feel. And I just, I think when you bring in these new coaches and there's a different kind of life, a different kind of energy, it just kind of, it's contagious and it kind of has, you can feel it all kind of throughout the stadium. And, and I, I know that they felt like they were close last year, but it, it does, it gets, um, you know, when you keep losing those close games, it does, it gets deflating. And it's it's so hard to keep 
you know, not coming out, not figuring out a way to win. But then I think the the reset and and bringing in these coaches, but then also they've hauled in some great talent and some key pieces that they needed to help fill and take that next step on this football team. And we also got a lot of flack for saying, hey, just hold on when the signing class happened because they brought in a lot of good players in that high school class, but it was a small class, so it wasn't rated very highly. But when that portal, since we've seen the portal news come in, I think it's just they have hit all the needs that they need to help this this team take the next step. There's a, a, a rating out there of portal additions, and Nebraska's a top 10 team in the country with portal additions. And obviously at the quarterback spot, uh, there are other positions that they've addressed with this as well. Wide receiver, I think that they've upgraded that as well. I think that's fine. I, I think right now is okay. You want a good feel because those young, a lot of those young men are into their winter conditioning program, and for them to have a good feel about it, and I think you're right, I think – there, there had to be a couple of tweaks and changes when you come off a of three and nine. So you change a few members of the staff and you change a few key members of what's going to be your football team. That may be enough to tweak this thing and get it going in the right direction. Yeah, and I think these players that they brought in are, are um, you know, like the coldest, for example. Look how um, bought in he is to Mickey Joseph. And he wants to come play for him and, and you know, do right by him and he is just he's he wants to please him and play for him and and he wants to play for his team and and you know this program but when you have a connection like that that you want to go out there and and do your best for your coach too I think there's a lot of a lot of these guys that are coming in that have connections with some of these coaches that they they want to come in and they want to you know do right by those coaches as well but yeah I mean even today you know I was telling you that down there in in the indoor Casey Thompson was down there throwing some some balls to Chancellor Brewington and uh, you know, there's guys that are doing the extra work that it, what it takes right now. I mean, you have your mandatory meetings or mandatory workouts that you have, and then you'll start, you know, it's not every day, but then you also have those uh, when spring ball starts. But it's the, it's the time that you spend outside of that, that you develop the chemistry and you get to know your, those teammates. And, and it's just so important. And I think there's a lot of guys that are bought into doing that extra work right now. A lot of chatter already that Casey's doing a lot of those leadership things, gathering guys together, trying to meet teammates, trying to organize events away from the stadium and the Hawks Championship Center, where you really build the team chemistry of that thing. That's a great sign uh, that's going on right there. And you're right, these new coaches with Coach Whipple and Coach Joseph and Coach Applewhite, who we talked to last night, I don't, I, in a way, don't really consider Bill Bush a new coach because he yeah. was he was a part of the staff, and the guys are really familiar with Coach Bush. Yeah, I just think maybe where he's kind of provided a, a spark is just, um, you know, is, well, on the recruiting trail, but yep. also just, you know, having someone that's, that's designated that that's their title, and he's done it before, and we've seen, you know, the success that he's had. And, um, you know, I, I think just the recruiting trail is so big a part of that buzz. And so not only are... The, this class and these new players that they're bringing in, but you're seeing, you know, all over, um, you know, the, that they've been out and about and, and talking to guys and making offers. And I think that that's a big spark spark as well that you can provide to a team is, is what these coaches are doing on the recruiting trail. So Edward Perkins from Hastings, Nebraska, you developed it. I'm fine. Husker Nation, go crazy on that. Did you drink much Kool-Aid? I did growing up. I did, up. yep, I did. Do you have a flavor? Not- Cherry, absolute cherry. Yeah, I think cherry's the favorite. I don't. I'm not a grape flavor fan at all. Um, but yeah, no, we would. Uh, my family, we would mix up the the big pots of the Kool Aid or the stir pitchers it. of the Kool Aid. Yeah, stir yeah. it up. Yeah. A lot of sugar in that thing, though. But that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. when you're a kid. That's awesome. So a little history lesson for everybody there tonight. All right, 402-413-2400, the number to dial us up with a comment or question, or that same number works on our text line, 402-413-2400. Let's start with uh, Jim out in North Platte. Good evening, Jim. Welcome to the program. Yes, well, even my first comment is I really respect you, and I am glad to get a Jessica's aspect of all of her football basically knowledge well even congratulations to that and my question is how is scott frost doing with the COVID? i was supposed to have surgery next month in omaha got canceled here's my question do you think with all of the new coaches on offense and the one on defense is nebraska going to change its offense and its defense. Thank you very much. 
All right, Jim, appreciate it. Good luck. Uh, hang in there. I hope your surgery does take place at, at some point in time. Yeah, I think that's a great question, and we're going to find that out in the coming months with Coach Whipple. What kind of changes will the offense make? And I think that will add a lot of intrigue to the spring game coming up in April. A lot of fans are going to be anxious to see what kind of the offense it looks like. Yeah, and even, you know, Coach Whipple's offense, whatever it might be, I mean, I think he tailors to what his personnel is everywhere he's been, right? And so – um, we you can look and see what he's done in the past, and maybe there might be some similarities, but I don't even think we know what exactly it will look like because he'll need to get in here and kind of see what personnel he kind of has, but also what wrinkles does Scott Frost add to that? And so it's, um, you know, it'll be fun to see how they – put the playbook together because you heard Nicole is talking about studying the playbook for some of these offensive players that aren't going to be here till the summer you know they'll just be studying that playbook so right. you know getting that playbook put together and and how that unfolds but I think it's going to be a, a fun part of this and you know when Scott Frost is on his last show he seemed really excited about getting to get in there and get to work with coach Whipple I mean just um, getting that perspective and and seeing how it all comes together and and I think they those two minds coming together, and then also they got a lot of good pieces to work with. So I, do. I, I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. And I've not heard an update on Coach Frost. I'm assuming he's getting better. I've not heard. I haven't popped into the football office. Have you heard? I of haven't. I, I okay. haven't seen her. We'll we'll try to get a, an update for you, Jim. And I know folks are hoping he's back up on his feet, but I've not popped into the office for the last couple of days. All right, here's what we have coming up on the program tonight. Well, we almost weekly get asked, what's going on with Steve Taylor? Well, we found him. We're going to talk to him coming up next, a former All-American quarterback for the Cornhuskers. He's going to be uh, uh, joining us to give us his thoughts. He was a teammate with Coach Joseph. Mickey was a couple of years behind Steve, and then he played in that game of the century, too, against Oklahoma. And the opposing quarterback, son, now a Cornhusker. So we'll get Steve's take on all of that coming up here in a little bit. Husker Wrestling is going to be in action this weekend. They're up in Madison, Wisconsin tonight. They duel with the Badgers tomorrow night. Mark Manning is going to join us with a preview of that matchup. The Badgers having a great year. They're ranked in the top ten. It'll be a challenge for the Huskers there. We were supposed to have women's basketball tonight. That game, because of COVID, has been postponed. But we'll hear from Kendall Coley, who's been a part of a feature Jessica's been putting together with a little walk down the court. We'll have that for you coming up in hour number two as well. And if you'd like to be, again, part of the program, you can dot us up on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline, which is brought to you by Woodhouse. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying, to save you time, shop finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. 402-413-2400. We're back with Taylor Maid, Steve Taylor, coming up next. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. A shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. See Shelter Agent Tanya Blaine in Norfolk and get the insurance coverage you need at the right price. You already got the hat the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. 
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. I'm Bruce Chubbuck, and I'm your local Flat Branch Home Loans lender. At Flat Branch Home Loans, we pride ourselves on living, working, and playing in the communities we serve. In my playing days at the University of Nebraska, I was known as a blue-collar worker. I take the same pride in being your mortgage professional as I did in representing Husker Nation. Head to brucechubbuck.com to learn more. Let's get you home. A division of Flat Branch Mortgage, Inc., NMLS 224149, equal housing lender. For licensing info, go to nmlsconsumeraccess.org. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTech Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. If your business communication slows down, your business slows down. Kidwell can help. Kidwell streamlines your company's communications with phone systems that work the way you work, in the office or on the road. Kidwell systems provide the unified communications features your users demand, like voicemail to email, instant messaging, and calendar integration. And Kidwell will be there, providing training, service, and support to make sure you get the most out of your investment. Don't let communications problems slow down your business. Visit KidwellInc.com. Hey Husker fans, this is Anne-Marie from the Nebraska Beef Council. Just like the Big Red wins on the court, you can win at the dinner table with great tasting beef. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, there are countless ways to create a meal that will have your family cheering for more. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for easy beef recipes, cooking tips, and meal inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Brought to you by Nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. There's not a week that doesn't go by that I don't, somebody goes, Steve Tater, where's Steve Tater? Is he okay? I need to hear from Steve Tater. We found him. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm here. I haven't gone anywhere. I've just uh, been enjoying life a little bit. Yeah. I know you're not golfing. It's too darn cold out. No, but I, I'm heading out to Arizona in about two weeks. <laughs> And I then knew, Florida. <laughs> I knew you would do. You usually get together with some group of guys, don't you? Every di- oh yeah, January, February, oh, you yeah. play. No, I, I've had some. You know, I turned fifty-five January, Ooh. and you know, I you don't know this, but I bought that Corvette a couple of years ago, and I went out to Vegas to experience the racetrack experience with a Corvette and a professional driver, and did that for two days. How that was that? Happened. It was unbelievable. I found out I have so much great appreciation. Not that I didn't before for professional race car drivers, but. I I never thought I would get car sick. I got car sick. No kidding. Oh, yeah. When you're going 115, 120, 130 around curves, into curves, braking, stopping, and they're coaching you, and you're hot, and you're in this car. You got all this. I never I never sweated so much in my life. But it was and it was a great experience. I did that on my 55th birthday, and my wife and I, we just had a blast. It was Good awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Well, yeah. people have missed you. Well, I've missed uh, them. Yes. You know, and, and, the, and the guys were just amazed that are new to our network how many people, <laughs> how much passion there is for Husker football. You certainly know oh, that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah, it's, it's, it's like no other place. I've been to a lot of other places, but Nebraska is special with that. Yes. I mean, you miss Skunk Man and Superfan and all I, those guys. And I miss my side, sidekick, Coke Man, my co-host. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we had a blast. And, uh, I look back at all the history and all the fun I've had and everything, and it was it was a great ride, absolutely. 
History. Let's talk a little history because Mickey Joseph's a new member of this yes. coaching staff, and you know Mickey pretty well. I know Mickey, yeah. I've known Mickey when he was here, and uh, actually Mickey bought one of my houses, so I'm finishing the basement for him right now and got to meet his lovely wife, and uh, we've been reminiscing and just having a great time. We've had some late nights and, and just catching up. It's been fun. Seems like yeah. he's really excited to be back in Lincoln. Oh, he's, 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 he's pumped. He's stoked about this opportunity. Uh, yeah, a lot of energy. I think he's exactly what we needed. Uh, obviously, the pedigree and their family when it comes to coaching and what he's done. And uh, he's excited about this. He wants to get his alma mater, his university, back, you know, work back to get to what, you know, like it was back in the day. So he's doing everything possible to make that happen. And did you have an inkling when you knew him that he might be a coach someday? You know, I didn't. Mickey, he, Mickey was such a knucklehead when he was here. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth. Even Coach Oz going to tell you about that. <laughs> one of the nicest guys and, and was extremely talented. Mickey is one of the guys that actually helped me help my career out. Uh, but no, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's excited and uh, he's, he's, he's energetic. He knows football. He knows what he wants. He has his, he has his system. Uh, he's been successful at it, you know, so um, it's just been fun talking to him, you know, 35 years later when he was, uh, you know, 18 or 19 coming here. I just highly talented, you know, quarterback from, uh, from Louisiana and, 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 and to see the growth that he's made has just been tremendous. It's, just, it's, very, it's very pleasing and very good to see. You guys would have been in the same position room, and I believe that was Coach Osborne in the yeah, room, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, it's funny because we were talking, right, and, uh, and this is after a couple of glasses of wine and everything, and, and uh, I told Mickey, Mickey was saying how, talking about me when he got here, and he, he didn't actually know I was here, believe it or not. <laughs> you know, it's, it's ironic, right? But uh, when, I, when, they, when they were recruiting Mickey, I remember seeing highlights of Mickey my junior year, and he could run. He, 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 he was faster than me. And I saw, I said, Mickey, you don't know this dude, but when I saw your highlights coming out of high school and going into my junior year, I told myself I was going to take the easiest classes possible and I was going to focus 100% on football and dedicate, my fo and dedicate myself to football because I knew that we had this blue chip quarterback coming in. I said, that's what Nebraska was all about. So he actually motiv motivated me to do extremely well. And then on the flip side, Mickey told the story. He said, yeah, dude, when I got here and it was he and Leo the Flowers, they were sitting there and he went to practice and he, and he said, who's that number nine? that dude can throw the football, you know? <laughs> and so Leotis came over, and they sat down and bitch, and they looked at, he, looked at each other, and Mickey said, and Leotis said, I know what you're doing. And Mickey said, yep, I'm red shirt, just like you. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, it was a cute story. It was kind of fun, but, uh, yeah, those, it, was, it was a lot of good times back then. Well, it's great to have him here. Husker Nation, pretty excited about oh, yeah. Mickey into town. Oh, yeah, and he, he, he is as well. He's out in the road right now working and recruiting, so. Just came from his house. He's pumped. I also want to go back to 1987. It was game of the century number two. Yes. You were the starter yes, for the Huskers. Yes. Charles Thompson was the starter yes. for Oklahoma. Now his son. His son is coming here. How about that? <laughs> that's how good Mickey is as far as recruiting. <laughs> I mean, he's, that's how Sam, when he told me, he, he told me about this kid a while ago. And uh, he wanted this kid. And uh, he said they may have an opportunity to get him. And, uh, and uh, I was like, go for it, man. I was like. I give you credit because I don't know if I would let my kid ever go to Oklahoma <laughs> in regards to the circumstances. But, you know, but no, he, they did a great job. And Mickey's very, very high on this kid. So um, it's going to be fun. It's gonna be, I can't wait to meet Charles, actually. Yeah, I think yeah. he's on campus now. Yeah. So looking forward to it. I have not met him yet. Well, either. We were supposed to meet and get together a couple of times, but it, the, it's just the timing didn't work out. And you will. Well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You oh, yeah. will. Yeah. Uh, that game in 87, was that the all red uniform game? No, that no. was 86. That 87 was, was uh, when Jamel got hurt and. And Charles came in, and it was a tight game, and uh, I thought we were the better team. We didn't win that day, and uh, he played, and they, they beat us by a touchdown. But, uh, yeah, he came then. We, we beat him in Norman my senior year, but uh, that was my junior year that, uh, that, that he played. How about that? Charles' son initially goes to Texas, Texas which is a which huge is, rival. <laughs> which is another rival, and now he comes here. Yeah, he kind of comes to Nebraska. So I think they put an asterisk or a double asterisk by the Oklahoma game. Yeah. I no bet. question about that. Do you, you get tired reminiscing about those games at all? You know, not really. I mean, it is what it is. That's, that's the history. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good games, and there's some, some ones that one or two that we didn't win. But um, those are two games that really stand out in my careers, the Oklahoma game of the century, too, and then also the Florida State game. You know, the UCLA games, the South Carolina games, you know, we, we, won, we won all those games. But, you know, you kind of remember the losses more so than you do the victories. But you do remember the victories. But, no, it's fun. You know, it's a long time ago. You know, I, I look back at our shoulder pads and how we dress and what we wore and everything. Uh, but, no, it is what it is. It's history. It's great history. That's what makes a uh, and, and, you know, now I appreciate it so much more now because the dynamics of college f football has really changed over the last couple of years. So, um, you know, 
which I got a lot of great ideas about that stuff. But, um, you know, so no, it's always fun to chat about, especially when you run into old players. It's just really good to talk to them about it. Well, you kind of opened the door. I want, let oh, me ask you about name image that. and likeness. <laughs> because that, that came about six months ago, July, that's allowing players to kind of profit off this. Yeah. Your thoughts about that? You know, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it the way it is right now. I'm not saying that because, you know, I, I don't have the opportunity to make money. You know, it's, it's, that's, that's not the case. It's the fact that, um, you know, I, I told my wife, I don't know if I could have ever put on a different color uniform in college. Like, I couldn't leave. I could not leave my school. I just, like, when I, when I said Adrian was going to K-State, I just couldn't imagine playing here for four years and, and putting on another color and meeting new, new guys and, and adapting their, 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 their history. I said, I just couldn't see myself doing that unless there's maybe money involved, you know? Right. So in that aspect, I think it's, it's going to water down and, and deteriorate, which we've already seen, all the transfers and stuff like that. There's no loyalty or not as much loyalty uh, to university. And, and, and college is such a it's, – it's a spirit game, and you play for your university. And, and, and I think they can work something out where they can – where players can be compensated. Uh, and, and I have some ideas about this and um, make it more equitable – for all the schools and all the players, uh, and then also tied into where you still be loyal to your school, um, you know. So we're going to see how this evolves. You know, I, I thought I think eventually they, they should have some type of um, uh, association, collegiate association, where uh, funds go into an association and players get a retirement of some sort. You know, and how many years you play to stay at that school, or how many years you play, depending on your retirement, just like they do professionally. Right. And I think kids will, will and make that more equitable where your star players are the ones getting, you know, 5, 10, whatever these numbers that they're throwing around are, are absolutely ridiculous, where it could be more equitable for every scholarship player that they will, they will, they will reap the benefits of the, of the funds that the NC2A are, are, are making from collegiate sports, where they can all share in a pot and make living a lot easier for these college students and do things, you know, for their families to come in you know, and visit, which they've already have in place, you know. Um, so we're going to see how all this plays out. You know, I, I just hired or I'm working with a mentor. Uh, Terrell Newby called me. Oh, yeah. He wants to get into real estate. And they have this program. They have a stipend program where they can mentor and shadow someone in their profession and they get compensated. I mean, that's a, that's a great tool and a great asset, which was not around when I was playing. Those are some of the things that, you know, I know Sean Eichhorst, you know, implemented that. Mm -hmm. But uh, those are some things that can be done to help these college players uh, transition from college to um, to the real world if they don't play real world if they don't play professional sports and make it more equitable. So we're going to see how all this stuff plays out. It just needs to be more equitable and and uh, it just can't be an open pocketbook for 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 the university or donors to go out and 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 and, and sign players, which is what it looks like right yeah, now. It appears yeah. to be that way, and uh, it's 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 a huge inequality, I think. So it needs to be it needs to be regulated, structured. Where all the all the all the scholarship kids can benefit from it now, and then also in the future when they're done playing. Getting busy with former All-American quarterback Steve Taylor here on Sports Nighty. You were the starting quarterback at Nebraska. If this NIL was in place then, you'd have made some money off I this deal. Made some money. I, I I think so. From from, from you would have for some of the numbers that I hear. I, I think I would have done quite well. You know, and and that's another aspect. You know, these kids are getting these funds. You know, are they investing it? How are they setting themselves up? Are these coaches? You know, how the coaches doing with all this? How the families are involved? There's so much more stuff in the play, and uh, you know. So that's why I think it needs to be regulated. That's why some type of pension, with uh, if that was in place with these kids that they can get when they're done playing to help the transition. So uh, yeah, you know, yeah, it would have been. You know, I've always I've been successful playing, you know, in Canada and what I'm doing now. So I don't feel like I've really missed out. But from some some of the numbers that I'm hearing are astronomical, and I could only imagine. I would think I would have a level head in college if I was making a few hundred thousand dollars, if not a million or two, in college. I think right. I would handle it pretty good. But then again. You are 18 and 19 years old, and who knows, you know? So, and then you're also you're always looking for the next best thing. So, we'll see how the, we'll see how it plays out. And right now, I'm not liking what I'm seeing, though. I, I just I think of guys like you and Tommy Frazier, Eric Crouch, how much you guys would have profited. Oh, I think about Brian place. Bosworth. The Boz. <laughs> the Boz. Yeah. I mean, I said, did you know what he would have made in the oh, NIL? I crazy. Mean, I mean, he did all right professionally, but... Can you imagine that, what that would have been like? Oh, Crazy. my Lord. Crazy. Yes. You know, we're, we're looking out over the structure that's getting built, the new football facility. All athletes will be able to use it. Yes. This thing's going to be phenomenal. Oh, I've seen, I've seen the renderings and seen the mock-ups, and it's, it's pretty amazing. I'm not surprised. Uh, 
you know, so it's going to be top notch. You know, as usual, Nebraska do things when they do it, they do it right. Yeah. Uh, that's why I love this place. Uh, now we just, you know, we just need to start winning more football games that's right. so we can yeah. so we can really enjoy all this stuff, you know. So, uh, but no, the facilities are going to be great. They have been great, but you know, it's just amazing the growth of what you're seeing with these universities. And, and unfortunately, it's more the haves and haves nots, but that's and that's the way of the world. And like, you just want to be on the other side. Well, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. People do ask a lot about where you are. You're doing, but you're doing oh, well. Oh, I'm I'm doing great. Never, 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 never. I, I told my wife I'm as healthy financially and, and physically I've ever been in my life. I'm in a good place. My kids are, are doing well and everything. And uh, you know, I just well, I want to get back involved with this and we'll see what what I can do to, to do that in some way, some capacity. But uh, yeah, it's been good. Actually, it's, with all the COVID and everything going on, it's, it's been, it was nice just to take a break. So I've been so no close doubt. to the program for about. No, 25, 30 years. So it was just nice just kind of just kick back and relax and not have any obligations. I want, before next season starts, I want to go have a lemonade with you and Mickey and just hear some stories. Oh, Mickey. Mickey's unbelievable. I mean, I, it, it's so nice to see him because he's, he's grown up. And, yeah. uh, and uh, he's, he's, he's a great guy. He's a great coach. And he loves, he loves it. He's happy to be back. And his family's here. So it's, that has really brought some energy to me. So I'm excited about that. So um, we're going to see what happens here in the future. Good. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, my man. There he is, former All-American quarterback Steve Tanner with us here on Sports Alley. Buckle up, put that phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Phone lines, text lines open for you, 402-413-2400. Jessica will rejoin me next. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today, we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he's so cold. The furnace is out again. But wait, he sees an opening. SOS, SOS, he screams and calls 391-2336. SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer. Boy, he made the right call today as SOS is already on the way. SOS is your trustworthy company since 1950. And with Luxair, you get free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call 391-2336 or visit SOSHVAC.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. I'm Bruce Chubbuck, and I'm your local Flat Branch Home Loans lender. At Flat Branch Home Loans, we pride ourselves on living, working, and playing in the communities we serve. 
In my playing days at the University of Nebraska, I was known as a blue collar worker. I take the same pride in being your mortgage professional as I did in representing Husker Nation. Head to brucechubbick.com to learn more. Let's get you home. A division of Flat Branch Mortgage, Inc., NMLS 224149, equal housing lender. For licensing info, go to nmlsconsumeraccess.org. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org and thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. 402-413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. Thanks again to Steve Taylor. Good to hear his voice again. I hope everybody enjoyed hearing from him. And, I, you know, I think he's got a point about NIL that probably – and you're now starting to hear some coaches – and even some administrators going, we probably need to put some bumpers in, some regulations in this thing, because right now some of these kids are just going to the highest bidder that's out there. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think it's it's tough, too, because, again, uh, the vast majority of not just even football players, but a lot of these athletes are not going to go pro. And right. So they're not going to go make money at the next level. So they're trying to, you know, do do right by and, may, and capitalize while they can, which is important. But – you know, I mean, you look at, um, you know, the NFL and all of that. It's not just a free for all. You know, I mean, so I don't know. I, I don't know how you how you regulate it, but um, yeah, there. It's just it's kind of um, kind of wild. Just and some of the you know stories that you're hearing about these portal guys and transfers and and what they're looking for in NIL deals is just wild. Well, remember Nick Saban back in the summer before we knew who Bryce Young was, their quarterback that ended up being the Heisman Trophy. He goes, he's already got a seven-figure deal, and he hasn't taken one snap yet at the University of Alabama. Now, at that company, who are companies, I don't know if it was one or multiple, probably got their money's worth because he had a heck of a year. But that's a lot of money being thrown at a young guy. Yeah. I mean, and again, hadn't even played football yet. so H- Hadn't done anything yet. Uh, Tim in Minnesota said, by the way, when I was playing – Steve Tater and Ping Pong, a freshman by the name of Mickey Joseph, was in attendance. Wow, that's quite a story, Tim. That's pretty cool. What? I mean, can we please talk about Steve's jacket? I like that. Didn't you like it? It was sweet looking. That was fire. I mean, I I loved that jacket. But um, that's the first time I had heard from him because he hadn't been um, on or hadn't, he wasn't on Big Red Reaction this year. So, uh, he's awesome. What what a cool guy, and um, yeah, I enjoyed his perspective. But Tim and Carney says I always like Steve. It's he always told it like he was. Tried not to sugarcoat things. We missed hearing his voice. So there you go. I Steve wonder. Taylor. I wonder if there. I wonder if he was a good ping pong player. Or Steve's a pretty good athlete, so probably probably was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But you are or two. Yeah, I'm talking about Tim. Well, you wonder I, if Tim's a good ping I pong player. If Tim made it if it was a if it was a game or if. Uh, how that went down. Tim was also loves Kool Aid. Said he his mom used to make it for him when he was. We got up. several Kool Aid comments on the uh, YouTube chat as <laughs> we well. We did, didn't we? <laughs> That's the stuff that people talk about. Is that that kind of stuff as well? That's what's know, great about this fan base, though. I mean, it's like we come off a three and nine season, and already it's positivity and excitement about the next year. And you know, I, I love it. And I, you know, coming from. Oklahoma and I actually just had this conversation with a guy from marketing who came from Oklahoma and I was like that's just so awesome about this fan base is that they they show up and they turn out and they support every sport and it doesn't matter and it's it's just so awesome to be a part of that and, and to see that so and I'm love, all about the Kool-Aid but they, they love their Huskers and they think about football 
24-7, year-round. They think about it. And, and football kind of is that way because there's – and now with the portal, it's always kind of moving parts. I remember you and Jeremiah and I were talking about it in November. We're like, it's going to be a wild December and January because there's going to be so many moving parts to this thing. And spring ball is starting in like five weeks. Is when they're going to start spring practice. How crazy is that? Yeah, that is just – I feel like um, it's been a while since we played, but then – the last couple of weeks, you know, getting these guys on campus. And, and I think we'll start being able to maybe talk to some of these guys and hearing a little bit more about them and, and whatnot. But um, it'll it'll get here before you know it. It'll be here before you know it. Oh, I just noticed Crypto on our YouTube channel says 78 days till the spring game. I hadn't even thought about how many days. Well, there you go, 78 days. That seems really quick. Hey, Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, and it's the law. 402-413-2400, the number if you want to dot us up with a comment or question. Maybe you're drinking the Kool-Aid. You'd like to share your thoughts about that with us. We'd love to hear your take on that. We'll back to wrap up hour one next. Ginger ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light sells hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. Hey, Bud Light! How many? Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy your response, playing Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska Athletics is proud to introduce the 255 Collection. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Daves. Visit FamousDaves.com. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macan if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. 402-413-2400. The number to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. Greg and Jessica with you here up until the top of the hour. Hour number two, Mark Manning will join us from Madison, Wisconsin, where he and the Huskers are getting ready for a duel tomorrow night against the top ten Badgers. And we'll also hear from Kendall Colley. We were hoping 
wishing that the women were playing tonight, but they're not because of COVID. Uh, they should have been about to get underway right now at PBA. Here on our text line, I hope these stories are true. They're wonderful stories, so I hope they're true. Uh, a Mickey story came through on our text line. Took my son to a, a practice when Mickey was a Husker. A ball ended up in the seats we were near. Mickey said to my son, keep the ball, and if security wants it back, tell them that Mickey says it's okay to keep it. Wow. I wonder that's if they cool. still have the ball. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I should ask And him. then now you could have it signed by Mickey. Bring it back. I bet you he would totally sign it. I think he probably would. That'd be awesome. I'm asking right now, so we'll maybe get an answer on that here in just a minute. I just have not, I've yet to hear anybody say anything bad about Mickey Joseph. It's all raving stuff. And when we had him in here last month, he's just a really engaging guy. I just, it, to me, and and just even before, you know, talking to DeColdis, and I mean, he came here before he even saw it. Yeah. And a lot of athletes, that's what wins them over, right? I mean, you, we hear how many coaches say you just got to get them on campus. And then a lot of times it's, it, you know, it's hard for student athletes to say no to Nebraska. But the coldest came here sight unseen because of Mickey Joseph. And he is, I mean, it's just, and a lot of Mickey's guys are like, uh, most of them are. Not Don't all you of think them. Mickey had a big hand in Casey Thompson? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of these recruits that you know are coming in they it's just he um the proof is in the pudding what he's done with his his players and and some of the offenses that he's been a part of he's from here and it's just he it's but it's not a sales job either that's that's what they keep you know reading about jamar chase and then the coldest and and these guys that you you hear them talking about it's not even a lot of times about football when he ha builds these relationships. He gets to know them on a completely different level. It's genuine because it can be such a sales job in recruiting. And so, um, you know, he's he builds these relationships and um, these guys buy in and they, they want to play for him. Unfortunately, no, we wish we did. That's the answer to the, they get the ball back. So they didn't. They didn't have the – that, that would have made so the they story. had to give the ball back? Well, it says, unfortunately, I don't know if they had to give it back because I, I, I wrote back, do you still have that ball? Oh, no. Unfortunately, no, I wish we did. So yeah. maybe they did give it back. Also on the text line, name my dog Mickey Mouse because of Mickey Joseph. These are just <laughs> great. These stories are flying in here. And I missed this earlier. Carla said, okay, since we're without Husker basketball currently, are there any other Husker sports activities we can get into? Hockey, curling, bowling, wrestling, gymnastics. Well, the women's gymnastics meet for tomorrow night, which was a pink night at the Devaney. That's been called off, not because of Husker problems with COVID, but Illinois. Um, and then she says, wasn't tennis talked about? Yes, they're playing right now against Baylor over at the Dillon Tennis Center. So, so sorry, Carly, you can't get there now. And we're going to hear tomorrow talk a little bit more about it. But swimming and diving, they're on the road, but they're going to be back home uh, soon. So uh, you can... Uh Check out some swimming. I'm, I think I'm going to go to that. I've Are never you? been to a collegiate dual swim meet. I've been to state championship swim meets and stuff at the Devaney, but I've not been over to, uh, to to watch Pablo's team compete. I should. I, I should. It sounds like it's this. Uh, the atmosphere is just great, and and you can watch diving between yeah. the races, and so yeah, I think it'll be a great a atmosphere. So Oscar I'm going to go check it out. Huskers has some really good uh, diving. Uh, and have had great divers down through the years over at the Devaney. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. I wish everybody could go watch wrestling this weekend. They're not home. They're up in Madison, Wisconsin. We're going to talk to head coach Mark Manning next hour. And keep the Mickey stories coming. How about that? we got like three <laughs> Mickey stories coming up. I'm going to have to share all these with him when I see him next. But all these people saying they name their dogs after him, great stuff. One hour in, one to go. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. 
Drive bold, drive GMC. You never know what lies ahead, so trust the powerful and innovative features of the 2022 GMC Canyon or elevate your driving experience with the driver-focused technologies and handcrafted materials in the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Experience the difference at Woodhouse Buick GMC. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. You live in a smart home powered by Cox Internet, so you're not thinking about the pizza delivery. You're thinking how nice it is to get everyone together for a fun night. You're not thinking about the pizza. Maybe just a little. Cox Home Life. Show me the front porch camera. Pizza! View your Cox Home Life cameras right from your TV using your Contour voice remote. Visit cox.com slash thisishome to learn more. Advertised features require subscription to Cox Internet and Contour TV. A high-speed internet connection is required. Home Life Security Services subject to Home Life Security Service Agreement. Cox Home Life Services provided by Cox Licensed Entities. See cox.com slash licenses.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Nebraska men's basketball announced that their game at number 19 Ohio State, scheduled for Saturday, January 22nd in Columbus, Ohio, has been postponed due to health and safety protocols within the Husker program. Programs will coordinate with the Big Ten Conference office to reschedule the game. The Nebraska women's gymnastic meet against Illinois, scheduled for Friday, January 21st at the Bob Devaney Sports Center, has been postponed as well due to health and safety protocols within the Illinois program. The programs will coordinate with the Big Ten Conference office to look at the possibility of rescheduling the meet. Nebraska track and field head coach Gary Pepin announced the hiring of new director of operations today, Cody Brusek will serve in that role for the Nebraska track and field program going forward. He had previously served in the same role at the University of Notre Dame for their cross country and track and field programs since 2017. Rusek is from Wahoo, Nebraska and attended both Dana College and Nebraska Wesleyan as a multiple time all conference student athlete. In college basketball tonight in the Big Ten, just one men's game, and that one is a good one as it is now 35-26. to 26. It's unranked Indiana currently leading Purdue as that one winds down in the first half. On the women's side, it is a busy one in the Big Ten. Number 12, Maryland is putting up a respectable fight here, but in the final seconds, 13.8 to go in the fourth quarter. It's 91-87 Ohio State with the Buckeyes at the line as we speak. So Ohio State trying to close out that one and upsetting number 12, Maryland. Number eight, Michigan leads Wisconsin 47 to 21. That one's in the third. And just tipping off now three games, 25th ranked Iowa takes on Minnesota. Purdue and Illinois, they tip off in Champaign. And it'll be the Nittany Lions uh, scrapping with the Wildcats as Penn State takes on Northwestern. Again, that one moments away from tipping off. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhelped, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Looks for Hybe, foul line extended right side. Dribble penetration, Sammy drives and scores! Jim Hybe! Great finish by Nebraska, they're back within a possession. Here's McGowan's driving the ball to the rim and jams it right in the face of Payne. Posterized him. Put him on the poster. Burge puts his head down, drives it, floater off the rim, in and out, offensive rebound, put back, up and good by Walker, up and good by Big D. Moriarty going to take the baseline, and now she's going to drive underneath, reverse layup, good for Kendall Moriarty, are you kidding me? Now that is a big time, one-handed reverse layup by Moriarty. 12.45 to go, here's Trey McGowan's with a three, got it! Trey McGowan's, his first three-point attempt of the year. After sitting all these games with a broken foot, his first shot is gold. 82-73, then an Iowa lead out top, Markowski for three. You betcha, Markowski has hit six threes. Unbelievable. And she's got 27 points. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are back for Hour 2 of Sports Nightly tonight, an unscheduled hour. We were hoping to have Husker women's basketball, but uh, their game postponed tonight with Rutgers with COVID issues. Huskers slated for now to be playing Sunday at Illinois. We may get an update on that tomorrow. We will get an update from the men tomorrow as Fred Hoiberg's got a press conference to kind of talk about their issues, which caused a cancellation of their Saturday game with Ohio State. The men next scheduled to play at PBA next Tuesday with the Badgers from Wisconsin coming to town. Speaking of the Badgers, we're going to talk about Wisconsin wrestling coming up here in just a moment. That's where the Huskers are headed for a duel tomorrow night. Nebraska will be on the road for the weekend at Wisconsin on Friday night. Then they travel down to the Chicago area to take on Northwestern Sunday afternoon. So a little road trip for Mark Manning's team. He's going to join us here in just a couple of minutes. Because we didn't get women's basketball on tonight, we're going to hear from Kendall Colley. A little uh, segment that Jessica has been putting out on social media with some of the women's, women's players. We'll hear from the talented freshman from Minnesota, Kendall Colley, here in just a little bit. So a busy hour ahead. And if you want to be a part of it, we always keep those phone lines and text lines open for you at 402 413 24 Hundred here, a nice chilly day in Lincoln today. It's going to be a busy weekend for football. You'll see if you drive by the stadium this weekend at all, you're going to see the scoreboards lit up. It's going to be a big junior weekend visit. So a lot of young guys who are still in their junior year of high school. So it'll be one of the junior days going on this weekend. So you'll see some of that activity around the stadium here this weekend. But we'll begin the hour off by talking some wrestling with Husker head coach Mark Manning. Hello, coach. How you doing tonight? 
Hey, Greg, good, good. We're doing really well. Well, I'm sure you guys are anxious to get back out there, uh, and you got two meets or two duels this weekend. Where is this team mentally? What, what do you, where do you assess this thing right now as we get to the later stages of January? Well, I, I think one we're we're one we're healthy. We uh, the healthiest we've been for I don't know since Las Vegas tournament, and um, we've uh, you know we we don't have any COVID cases, so it's good. We we have our full lineup back and ready to go. Uh, Taylor Benz was banged up last you know at, during the Purdue match, but we got him back now, and so you know with with. Uh, COVID and, and guys redshirting, it's just really tough to, to field a competitive team with 10 guys because you got guys in red shirt, so it's tough to pull guys out of red shirt. So, but right now, we, we're ready to go. We knew we were going to have a couple tough dual meets early on, and we lost, you know, there the first couple duels. And now we have a good opportunity against a tough Wisconsin team and a really good Northwestern team. Coach Manning, uh, we have had some questions from fans just asking about, you know, as a team, how do you manage? You, you've talked, you mentioned the COVID a couple of times there, but you know, when it's going around and you know it's all over campus and everything, how do you manage, kind of avoiding it spreading within a team? Yeah, well, we're we're almost here, herd immunity right now, so <laughs> we're <laughs> we're we're, uh, we're getting to where we're in good shape now here the last couple of weeks, but, um, you know, we, we went, uh, we went eight straight days with, with someone being positive. So it's really tough to, to manage your practice room and then manage putting together a lineup for a big 10 duel. So <laughs> it's challenging, but you know what? No one feels sorry for us and we don't feel sorry for, for anyone, you know, and we just, we have to get our guys ready to go and compete. So we're, we're in good shape right now, and we're, we're anxious for the challenge this weekend. Coach, you caught my attention a few weeks back when you made the comment that you thought Ridge Love at your 149er has a chance to be a national champion. Tell me more about him, and what, what are you seeing from him right now? Well, he's, he's just a tough, gritty competitor. You're talking about the definition of grit. That, that, uh, he, he, uh, he lives it. He's, he's uh, just an ultimate competitor as far as you know what you're going to get in Ridge Lovett every time. He's mentally tough. He's going to, he's just going to give 100% effort. I've never had him here at Nebraska. He wrestled for us as a true freshman a couple of years ago. And um, he's, he's just, he gives 100% effort. He's, he's, he's not the most talented guy on our team, but he has a really super big heart. And that's what he really inspires in our team is that fight and that uh, that heart that we want, you know, up and down the lineup. It's contagious. <laughs> that should be a heck of a match tomorrow night. He's got another top ten guy to face tomorrow, doesn't he? Absolutely. I think, uh, yeah, the Gomez kid is, I don't know, he just, he, he, won a, he beat a couple top five guys, I think. So Gomez is, is – uh, you know he's really made a name for himself this year, so he's uh, he's uh, definitely a worthy component opponent. And you know Ridge is going to have to wrestle really well. Coach, what about uh, Peyton Rob? I know he's another guy that you've mentioned that he's he's so close right there, and and could be another guy. Uh, you know, making a, a long run in, in the postseason, and he didn't get to wrestle in the in the Purdue duel. Uh, I know coming off maybe an injury. Uh, where is he at? And uh, you feel like he's kind of progressing along where where he needs to right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's uh, he's a lot better right now than he was a couple weeks ago. He was um, he was one of our COVID guys, so he missed a lot of practice, and then just getting him back in the lineup. He only had a couple practices last weekend before last Friday. wasn't very confident in his conditioning, and it showed. You know, he ranked. He was he was wrestling the kid from Minnesota was ranked number two in the country. So bad matchup for us that way. When when your when your guy doesn't feel like he's hundred percent. So, but Peyton's a lot better now, and this week presents a good opportunity to to wrestle two really tough guys. So we're gonna. 
we're going to see where, where we're at after this weekend with Peyton. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Sports Night late Thursday night, visiting with Husker wrestling coach Mark Manning. Huskers will duel tomorrow night with Wisconsin, then Northwestern on Sunday. You talked about a national champion. You, you had a heavyweight that had to wrestle an Olympic gold medalist. Uh, Christian Lance had to battle that big fellow from Minnesota last week. How much can he learn from that, and, and where is Christian for you right now? Yeah, Christian's one, one of the best guys on our team right now. He's really, the last couple of years, really made big strides, and uh, he's put in a tremendous amount of work. And so he's, he's a really talented guy. You know, uh, Gable Stevenson is, you know, is, is a one-in-a-million type guy. I mean, one, I think he's only the second college guy ever to be an Olympic champion. John Smith back in the 80s in 1988 had a one-year of eligibility after he was an Olympic champion. But And we all know John Smith went on to be, you know, him and Jordan Burroughs are considered the best ever. So Gable Stevenson is, he, he, he could be, I know NFL teams have reached out to him. He could be whatever he wanted, but I know he's going to end up being – a WWE guy, so he's going to sign a big contract in May. But Gable is is just uh, you know one, like I said, you know one in a million. And I think you know Christian fought him better than he did last year, but we still gave him too much respect. But you know that guy's he's a handful, and uh, Christian he's he's getting better. He's getting you know not only better technically, but just his courage, just his uh, his opportunities to go and shoot and take people down at heavyweight. That's you know that's the scary part when you're a heavyweight. You get underneath a big guy and being able to finish a takedown. You know you got to have a lot of courage, and Christian's really developed that area. Coach, we had Christian on the show uh, a couple weeks ago, and he is awesome, by the way. But he said that uh, the the Christian now would have pinned the Christian coming in uh, a couple, a few years ago. But I asked him kind of what's what's clicked for him, and he said, you know, I realized what the coaches are telling me that it works, and it's kind of all click for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's great, Jessica. That yeah, you know, just that's what college athletics is all about: seeing these guys grow and develop in their mindset and just the way they're going to be in life, you know? And so uh, seeing, seeing them have success and then just seeing them reach their goals and say, man, man, two years ago, I, I, I could never imagine myself doing that. And then they're in that moment. And that's what it's all about, getting these guys to believe in themselves and knowing that they have more within them. Um, and um, just really proud of this team because they, they work really hard. We're going to, We've overcome some challenges that we've had, um, definitely. So adversity really drives you to to be stronger, and that's where our message is with this team. We're we're really looking forward to these duels this weekend. And we have a week off. We have, you know, Michigan. They, I think they're ranked second or third, and Penn State that weekend. So it doesn't get easier, but we're we're uh, we're really excited about the challenge. And a pretty hot group you're facing tomorrow right the badgers have been on a bit of a roll yeah they have they've uh oh yeah they just beat minnesota right after minnesota beat us so they they uh i'm sure they're very confident and that's great we we want them to be so uh <laughs> we're uh we we think we have a good team too so we'll you know that's what we're going to bring the fight so um it's going to be going to be a good really good duel do you have a uh, – can you give us and listeners, if we're going to tune in and, and watch maybe a, a key weight to look out for that's going to be a, a big key to the match? Well, I think 149. I think Rich Lovett and that Gomez guy, they're really – you know, they think they have some something special there. And I think um, at, at uh, 165, Bubba Wilson, and they're really high in this young freshman that's been – doing really well for Wisconsin and then I would say you know 197 heavyweight Eric Schultz uh against their guy is is a really good matchup and heavyweight Christian Lance and and Hilger have gone back and forth so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a tremendous duel really looking forward to it 
Well, Coach, we appreciate the time. Be safe. Travel safe this weekend. Go get some wins. 7 o'clock tomorrow, 2 o'clock on Sunday. Both uh, duels will be streamed on BTN+. Plus. Great to hear from you, Coach. Best of luck this weekend. You bet, Greg. Just, just thanks a lot. Appreciate you guys. Go Huskers. There he is. I love that guy. I do. I was just about to say that. Were you reading my mind? <laughs> He's awesome. He's so great. Um, it was fun, you know, when I was at the Purdue duel, just watching him. Boy, he's animated. He's awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it, as nice as he is. You could, you can also see why guys buy into his coaching too, because he's going to get after you and he's going to, you know, challenge you. I mean, just kind of what I said with Christian Lance and talking about how you know, he, how much he's grown as a, a human with this, uh, as a person with this coaching staff. And I, I just, yeah, Coach Manning's, he's the best. I, I've really enjoyed getting to know him. Carla, last hour, asked about what other sports could they jump into. As he mentioned, they're off next week, but then the following weekend, they have a couple of home duels, Michigan and Penn State. That'd be a great chance to, to get out to the Devaney Center and cheer them on. We'll follow their progress over the weekend with Wisconsin and Northwestern. Coach joined us on our Sports Alley Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. We'll talk some Husker women's basketball in the next segment. Ken McCauley uh, went on a little walk with our Jessica. We'll hear that coming up next. Step into the new year with a new Chevy. Discover the 2022 Traverse, Blazer, or Equinox. The Chevy SUV lineup brings more than looks to the table. Our SUVs come equipped with Chevy Safety Assist, so you can look and feel confident while driving. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase through our streamlined process. Find new roads and explore all our new inventory arriving daily at WoodhouseGM.com and at our dealership in Missouri Valley, Iowa. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Huskers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding Nebraska athletics, including game times, results, ticket promotions, prize giveaways, and more. Log on to also follow several sport-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Join today and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Visit huskers.com slash social media to see all of our accounts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. This isn't the start. Before I got here, I started training. And before that, I did something to my back. But my first move was Athletico Physical Therapy. That's where I'd eventually end up. So why not start there? I mean, my therapist immediately found the source of my pain. These are the same physical therapists who work with elite marathon runners. So soon, I was back to running, but without pain. <sighs> you got this. It all starts at Athletico. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
you'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean? which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles. Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Cornerstone Bank proudly serves Nebraska with a full line of loan and deposit products. Cornerstone is large enough to handle all of your financial needs while offering the personal service you deserve and the local decision-making you expect from a family-owned community bank. Stop in or call one of the Cornerstone Bank locations near you to discover the Cornerstone difference. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Loan subject to approval. Back at our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Sorry if you're disappointed if you've just flipped on the radio and hearing us and not Matt Cody and Jeff Grease. We wish you were hearing them as well, but no women's game tonight. COVID issues within the Husker program. They are slated to play on Sunday at Illinois. I think we'll probably get a yay or nay on that tomorrow, I would guess. So you think, yeah, you think tomorrow? I think they have to. Illinois is playing right now, as Tim told us in the ticker, so you got to kind of let that game happen and then figure out what you're going to do. And maybe 24 hours helps. So I know Amy Williams wants to play these games. Yeah, and it's just um, when you have that much time off and you can't you know it, it, it's hard to get back into a rhythm and they kind of were hitting a good stride and so you know taking um that time off is, is always tough especially when you got players that are in and out you know depending on who's injured who's got covid so um i know they like to get some more uh, continuity and, and consistency going on the men also announced today they will not play their next game because of the same issues within their program program if i if I could stop hearing health and safety protocols for the rest of my life, I'd be really, really right. happy. Uh, Fred Hoiberg will have a press conference tomorrow. We'll play some clips of that tomorrow night on the program, so we should get an update from him there. Now, you've been putting together a series of reports on the women's team. This is a really fun thing. Tell everybody about this. Yeah, so I don't know if you watch uh, Jay Billis as the 90 feet, I think, and um, you know, just a way to kind of get to know this team a little bit. Um, just a quick little interview from uh, we go baseline to baseline and uh, answer some random questions, but kind of just, you know, again, trying to get to know them a little bit. There's a lot of fun personalities on this team. If you've watched uh, this basketball team, uh, there's they have some fun. They're fun to watch and um, uh, a lot of cool, unique characters that you don't maybe always get to see on the court. So trying to get to let people get to know them a little bit. And uh, Kendall Coley was one of the last uh, Inside the Vault episodes, and so wanted to get let you guys uh, listen to that. What's your growth kind of been like when you look back to where you were a year ago to where you are now? Um, I would say when I came in, like, I haven't always been a super quiet person, but I came in, I was kind of quiet, kind of shy, but, like, the girls were very open, and, like, they opened their arms up to me, and... I really came and I found a family here and the growth has, has been a lot just even over the summer like as a basketball player and as a person like I, I can feel the difference. Versatility is uh, an adjective that a lot of people use to describe you and your game. How did you become such a versatile player? Um, playing for my dad all my years like when you did play for him if you were 6'5", five, 5'1", five, like you were going to post up if you had a mismatch you were going to take it to the rim if you had a mismatch so I grew up taller than most of the kids I was around and I was always dribbling the ball like I had point guard roles but then I would also go post up and it's just always been like doing a little bit of everything. From Minnesota you had a sister play at Iowa how did you end up at Nebraska? Um, well, I always wanted to stay in the Big Ten and I don't know I came here I, I'm not even gonna lie I didn't think Nebraska would be the one but when I came here like it was instantly like I knew that Nebraska was where I wanted to be. Just the people and the environment, it was amazing. 
who's your favorite Husker volleyball player? You better get this right. <laughs> They're going to get so mad at me. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't just pick one. I love my freshmen, Ali B and Kenna and Lexi, if you're watching this. I love you all <laughs> equally. And another fun question. You took Bella's senior pictures. How fun was that for you? How did you end up uh, getting that job? Um, it was a lot of fun. So for my major, we... Um, get access to these cameras and so she found out about that and so um, she's like hey can you take these for me and I was like yeah I just learned how to use the camera and so then me and her and then Wendell and Nye we went out and Wendell and Nye were the ones making her smile while we did it all and it was just a really fun process and well you did a great job awesome. thank you so Husker fans if you're in need of photos hit up Kendall uh, on social media Greg, you'll remember, remember Kendall came in really highly touted and she actually graduated high school early mm -hmm. to get to come take advantage of that COVID year. So she got to play last year basically for free. And I think you're just, we're not even scratching the surface of, of what Kendall Coley is going to be able to do here at Nebraska. I also did, the reason why I asked her that volleyball question, she played volleyball, was a really good volleyball mm -hmm. player and is really good friends with Kennedy Orr, who we've just talked so much about, yep. but their moms were friends. And so she's kind of telling me a little bit about uh, their story growing up. And they uh, signed when they both became Oscars. They, they didn't go to the same high school, but they had kind of a, a signing day ceremony together. So, um, but yeah, just a cool person. And I think she's going to uh, continue to grow and be a big time player for this program. Both Twin City girls. Kennedy is the heir apparent to Nicklin Hames as the setter for the Huskers. When I look at Kendall, I think she could be an uh, outstanding defensive player. I think she can be an elite defensive player. But her offensive game is not bad. I think in some ways Amy Williams wishes she'd be a little bit more assertive on the offensive end. But she loves to play defense, and she's going to find a niche and a real role on this team. And I know they are thrilled to have her a part of this group. Well, and you look at, um, you know, she can – she can hit threes. And yeah. so when you have someone that length that can step out and, and hit, I think she's third on the team and, and made threes, but you know, she's hit some big time shots uh, from deep. And when you have a, a player of that size that can shoot like that with that kind of range, it is a matchup nightmare for teams because you know, a lot of post players can't, can't guard that far out. So um, yeah, I think, She's going to continue to grow and develop, and but she's been a big piece of this year. You know, that depth off the bench. The numbers that they score night in and night out, I, sh I wonder if that stat's listed somewhere about the bench scoring because I, I, they've got a lead. They've got to be up there in the country. They would be, yeah. Yeah, she's just a fun player to watch, and what a great little, you know, she, you can tell, a little shy. You pulled some out of her. That was good she to see. She was nervous, and yeah. she she was really good. And, um, you know, I Going back to just the characters on this team, also coming out hopefully uh, next week will be we're going to feature on the bench celebrations. And, you know, if you've noticed, they, they have some fun celebrations. Their, their bicycle, human bicycle went viral after the Michigan game. But it's, it's just um, a nod to Amy Williams and the culture within this program. You don't find that everywhere. I mean, we've talked about the depth and the bench, and a lot of these players – that are playing roles for this team could probably be the star at a lot of different places and, and go score 20 a night or whatever. But this is a team that's bought into um, their role and what they can bring to this uh, this team and, and this team's success. And it's they celebrate each other. It's really a cool it's, – it's, and it's genuine. But it is a really cool um, – vibe and culture it is awesome and that's a big part of that success you know the, the teams that have the best chemistry usually do the best you know when you're talking postseason so if this team can continue to build on that I think a big big things are to come for them uh, there's some there's a little bit of grumbling out there that they think coach Williams is playing too many players that you need to really only play eight she's pushing that limit and now when you get an injury to a Sam Hybe somebody's ready to go I'm not I I think playing depth one, I think it helps the chemistry in the locker room because everybody feels like they got a chance to play and participate. And then if you get injuries or two, somebody's not 
they're ready to go. They haven't been sitting on the bench for two months and not playing. They're ready. They're ready for that moment to happen. And number three, I think it helps you late in the season. Your legs yeah. are better. You're spreading the minutes out more. You're not putting 35 minutes. I'll be anxious to watch this Indiana team that's so good right now. They're playing like seven girls. They're going to be dead tired, I think, by March. I think it's going to really hurt them. I think we've seen that where it's it's been – something that other teams might have looked a little gassed and you know it's just like a line change man and she can throw a, and and not only uh fresh legs but different looks at people I mean you know you sub people in and out and maybe you go a little bit smaller with some guards and it's just um you can it's hard to continue as a you know the the opposing team defensively continue to match up when you have different looks and players like right. Kendall Coley <laughs> that can do different things. And I mean, you got multiple shooters, you know, Ashley Scoggin, for example, I know she played point a little bit last year, but um, a lot of teams, when they got a shooter like that, you know, you know that Ashley Scoggin is a phenomenal shooter. She is a sharp shooter. Mm -hmm. She's one of the best in the country at, at field goal percentage at a very high clip. I think 45%. That's unreal. But you can't, you know, just hone in on her and match up with her. And so that's allowed her to continue to shoot and have these open looks because you have other people like Jazz Shelley that can shoot really well and other players that are such offensive threats that you can't just, hey, I'm just, we're going to take Ashley Scoggin out of this where she's not going to shoot threes, but you can't because of all the other options that are on the court. And, and hey, I, I'm a fan of playing a lot of people if they deserve it. And I think this group does. I, I understand some teams only go eight deep and nine, 10 and 11, there's a big drop off, but I don't see that with this group. I, I think when Amy subs in, those players are capable of continuing what, whatever the starters were doing. Well, and look at the freshmen, which we've talked so much about here. We're, I mean, I think Alexis Markowski, um, gets a, a lot of, of, um, you know, we talk a lot about her and, and rightfully so because of all the things that she's done and she's gotten all kinds of accolades already, but even uh, Moriarty and, and Widener, those are going to be two big pieces to your program in the future. And getting them this kind of experience now, I mean, they're, uh, you hear a lot of times about how the, the big time jumps a lot of times that players make, you know, between freshman and sophomore year. And do you maybe need to play those players a lot of times? Probably not. But I mean, I think, you know, getting them that experience and helping them, you know, experience the Big Ten and all these different kinds of matchups and situations and scenarios, that's going to make them grow a lot and make, help them take a big step going into next year and the next year. It just – these are big pieces moving forward for this program. Well, hopefully we see that team sooner than later. Again, they're slated to play Sunday at Illinois. Tonight's game postponed, hoping to reschedule it with Rutgers. You sure hate to take an opportunity for the home fans and this team to play in front of those home fans away from them if they can't get that Rutgers game rescheduled. The Illinois game on Sunday is a road game for this team. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Our phone lines are open. Anything you'd like to talk about is fair game, 402-413-2400. With a call or a text, we've got more sports highlight straight ahead. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up and back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deteau Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DeteauSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. 
Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You live in a smart home powered by Cox Internet, so you're not thinking about the pizza delivery. You're thinking how nice it is to get everyone together for a fun night. You're not thinking about the pizza. Maybe just a little. Cox Home Life. Show me the front porch camera. Pizza! View your Cox Home Life cameras right from your TV using your Contour voice remote. Visit cox.com slash thisishome to learn more. Advertised features require subscription to Cox Internet and Contour TV. A high-speed internet connection is required. Home Life Security Services subject to Home Life Security Service Agreement. Cox Home Life Services provided by Cox Licensed Entities. See cox.com slash licenses. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home at woodhouse.com or one of our 19 dealerships, we've got something for everyone. From new stylish SUVs that blend comfort and capability, or a pre-owned truck packaged for durability and everyday functionality. When it's time to upgrade your drive, shop confidently with Woodhouse. Serving customers and communities since 1975, this is Woodhouse. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? Well, they're even longer term than your sister's piano recital at church that time you drank a whole big cup of soda right before you left home and insisted to your mom that you didn't have to use the bathroom. We're talking that long term. Hello, it's Jim Persinger from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 308-284-3260 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Our Sports Alley Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brand, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Thursday night, 402-413-2400. The number to dot us up with a comment or question uh, here on the program tonight. Text line, the same number as our phone line, so either one works for us here on the program tonight. Full show coming your way tomorrow night. We believe we've lasso Jeremiah Searles to come chat with us tomorrow night. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, unless he uh, ghosts me tomorrow. He, uh, We are scheduled to uh, uh, tape a podcast, and um, we'll uh, have that interview for you coming up tomorrow. Um, I'm interested to talk with him about a lot of things. Um, we haven't had him on, what's it, signing day? No, he came on to do a pick segment before when Christmas. I you think. were gone, yeah, but we didn't talk much football. Um, but did he, did he do any good on that? Pick? I don't remember how he did those picks. Well, he definitely didn't beat me. <laughs> I'll make sure and let him know about that. Um, but you know, just the the uh, all the new coaches, the some of the big additions. I'll be anxious to see um, 
which is kind of his, he felt like, you know, might be the biggest get out of the portal. Um, but also uh, the process of the draft. He's representing um, a couple of the guys that are going through this process. And, um, you know, we're still waiting. Maybe Austin Allen, maybe a couple of guys get invites to the combine. How important that is, the process of that. But And then also, as we talked about last night, he is uh, all in on Bill's Mafia. And so maybe get his uh, take on the See NFL. if he'll send you the video. Yeah, I think we owe it to our viewers oh, sure. to try to put that out there. Yeah, absolutely. We, so. we do. We do do that. Uh, a couple of baseball-related things. We've had people cupping, want to know when Will Bolt's going to be on it next. Not for a while. They haven't even started practice yet. They don't start till a week from tomorrow. But we'll start regular shows with Will in March, so it'll be a little bit of a while. And then Andy in our YouTube chat room says, uh, ready for Jake Myers to be on the show. That's a good, good call. I saw Jake's dad. Uh, a week or so ago, Jake had surgery. Remember, he ran into the wall in the playoffs with the Astros, hurt his shoulder, needed surgery. He's out until midsummer. He did get married. That's great. Congratulations. So, yeah, that's a good thought. Uh, Is maybe, the MLB happening? I don't know. They've had one meeting since they started the lockout in early December. I don't know. And right now, he doesn't probably know. But we'll, we'll try to get Jake on. But he's out for a while because of the shoulder problems. And that's too bad because he'd just gotten his foot in the door with the Astros. And then he got hurt in the playoffs. So, so there you have that there. Also, Andy wants to know if we eat dinner before or after the show. I told you a long time ago, Jessica, that's one of the great conundrums of this show when it airs. What do you do? Do you eat early or do you eat late? It's tough. Yeah, I normally eat after. Um, Me too. So More times than not, I do. Yeah. Sometimes we sit here a lot of times in the commercial break like, I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, Andy. That's, uh, there, there's your, your, your thought on that. And a lot of people loved your, your uh, little chat with, with Kendall last segment. So that's yeah, cool. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, you know, I think there's uh, so many personalities, and that was my goal when we started kind of doing this. Um, I think this is a team that deserves coverage and deserves to kind of have the spotlight put on them. And, um, yeah, so kind of just wanted to give a, an opportunity for uh, fans to get to know them. I also, Ashley Scoggin, is uh, there's one out with her, and I think it's pretty neat to see um, the young girls that are really kind of buying into basketball right now, and, and she's one. She's giving lessons and kind of teaching uh, the game of basketball. to. And what's cool about her, she's gone to a lot of her, the little girls that she teaches, she goes and watches them play when she can. Oh, wow. Cool. And so, you know, if you, you stick around after the game, there are all kinds of, uh, you know, all ages of, of little girls lining up to try to get autographs and wanting to meet these players. And I, I think they're just inspiring a, a new generation. We'll see, you know, how that kind of plays out. But you look at the, the Nebraska kids that are on this team mm -hmm. and that, you know, probably were those little girls at one point. And so you never know who who you're inspiring when you're signing those autographs. And I think there's a lot of little girls paying attention to this team right now. And I think it's um, it's a good team to pay attention to. The uh, yeah, um, crypto said it's it's when it's light outside, it's easier to eat late. He's right. The bad thing is when you eat late at night, then it's hard to go to sleep. I can't I have a hard time sleeping on a full stomach. I don't. I don't you're, really have you're a problem not, with that. Not a no. problem with that. By the way, I'm noticing in um, one thing because I I get asked sometimes about the construction and it boy it is moving it out is. there. They were out there today. I mean it's 12 degrees and they were out there working today. There's a tower fellas. in the middle that's gone up now. I mean it is like um, almost day to day. There's there's new additions and they've blocked us off now where we can't. We have to go around the ramp. So you know there's. Uh, shielding and, and so you can't really see in our camera views anymore but um, when you're walking in they are making some progress it's going to be impressive when that thing opens it's not set to open for about another 18 months it's going to be sometime in 2023 which we're already in 2022s but it's going to be impressive and i know all the coaches to all the sports are recruiting to it because yeah. it will anybody they're recruiting now is going to be able to use it yeah and um it's crazy because i took one in Nick Burkhart's, we're working on a, a feature on um, a, a track athlete, and we went through the training table, and, and he was kind of wowed by it. And, you know, there was nothing like that, like that, to that extent at Oklahoma. 
And so, and, and Dave has talked about that on the nutrition podcast about there are a lot of programs that would kill to have what Nebraska has right now. Right. And then they're about to just Do up that. the ante big time on that new facility. So the training table is a big part of the recruiting process as well. I mean, it is a cool atmosphere. It just opened up to uh, staff again, by the way, I still have to go check it out, but you know, it's, it's a big part of, of that recruiting pitch while they're here and it is about to get even bigger at, in the new facility. Andrew's got a nice big bag ready to take over to the I know, train he table. Talks about, he's going to embarrass us down there taking to-go boxes. I know I've said this before. I think I've even told you this. It's, it's one of my favorite places on campus because I love to see the athletes of the different sports mingle together. And you might see a volleyball player sitting with a baseball player or soccer player sitting with a football player. I just love the interaction there that it's not just let's divvy up the sports and make them all be separate. Yeah, love and it. they have, you know, the interactive cooking. You can make your own stir fry, uh, pizzas now. Eduardo Andre, he's... Yeah, apparently he's... I, I'm going to have to ask Dave about that. We're, we're going to tape a nutrition podcast coming up soon, but you know with all of these transfer guys coming in a lot of times it's kind of a whirlwind they get here and it's um you know figuring out everything that's going on so actually on saturday you mentioned the junior day uh, dave's also having a big um kind of tutorial or whatnot uh, uh, with all the incoming guys all the new guys the the new freshmen and the transfer portal guys on on how to even work the training table Absolutely. you know how the pizza uh, ovens work and and the stir fry because you don't uh, that way you're not just going in there how does this work you know a training for that so that'll be fun to kind of get to see that too they have to coach slash teach them how to eat because yeah. most of these guys don't particularly coming out of high school they don't eat right they're eating cheeseburgers and fries all the time they get them here and they have a strict this is what you need to be eating. This is how many calories you need to be intaking per day. So they go through all that. You think about that in the weight room, you know they're going to have to learn how to do some of that right. But you don't think about that with nutrition. Well, and just um, even today I was with Dave, and he was doing one of the scans with uh, one of the athletes. And it was a transfer guy, so he probably what maybe isn't a complete picture of you have this, you know, you come in and you get all of this evaluation done where you're at and all of the kind of things that go into that. And – I mean, it's fascinating, but then, you know, how you attack, okay, do you, what, what's your playing weight? What do we want to get you at? And not even just weight, but the body fat and muscle, all of that. And, you know, for some of these guys, like we, how many times does Jeremiah say some of the offensive linemen need to put on some weight probably going into next season? So all of that kind of plays into it. This is such an important time. You got to put that on now. Um, so I'll, I'll be interested to talk to Dave about it coming up soon, and we'll, we'll bring it to here on Sports Nightly, too. Have you bumped into Ernest Hausman yet? I, know I he's, I know he's on campus. I know. I, I Hopefully we'll see him soon. Yeah. All those young guys are here, and it's really, really cool to, to get them here. It's a mix. I think 16 new football players have started the semester with Nebraska here. I've uh, seen him down there working out, and, uh, you know, mentioned earlier. Um, seeing Casey. Casey Thompson mm -hmm. throwing to Chancellor Bre Brewington today. I know a lot of those guys are, have – it has. I don't think they've started mandatory work. It might have started this week, but I mean, even last week there were guys in there in the weight room working out. Um, they've been, you know, throwing, running, all of that. So um, all, guys already getting back to work. A lot of the coaches have been out recruiting. This is an open period for them to go out. A lot of them are, have focused on juniors. And as I mentioned earlier in the program, it's a big junior weekend here on campus for football recruiting. So if you drive by the stadium, you'll probably see the big boards on. That's what it is. They're going to have a whole batch of them will be here. Uh, this weekend to check out Nebraska as you start to kind of work on your next cycle, even though there is a signing day in two weeks. Pretty much most of the focus now is on juniors uh, to be starting to look into that. 402-413-2400. We're back with our final segment of the night of Sports Alley next. Looking for a great Christmas gift idea? Look no further than expanding your loved one's Husker closet with an item from the new 255 collection, inspired by legendary coach Tom Osborne. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? 
With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. I'm Bruce Chubbuck, and I'm your local Flat Branch Home Loans lender. At Flat Branch Home Loans, we pride ourselves on living, working, and playing in the communities we serve. In my playing days at the University of Nebraska, I was known as a blue-collar worker. I take the same pride in being your mortgage professional as I did in representing Husker Nation. Head to brucechubbuck.com to learn more. Let's get you home. A division of Flat Branch Mortgage, Inc., NMLS 224149, equal housing lender. For licensing info, go to nmlsconsumeraccess.org. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance. Buy online at woodhouse.com. Indiana may be pulling off an upset tonight on the hardwood. They lead fourth rank Purdue 57 51. They got about 11 minutes to go in that game. Still time for the Boilers to come back. That is a heated, heated rivalry. Those two schools, about 90 minutes apart from one another, they do not like each other. That's a big time rivalry there. Women's basketball, women's doubleheader on BTN tonight as well. Iowa leads Minnesota at the half in that game. Dax Prescott, the Cowboys quarterback, got fined today by the league $25,000. He was asked a question after their loss Sunday to the Niners about fans throwing things at his teammates in anger as they walked off the field. But then he was told, hey, I think they really were throwing them at the officials. He said, credit to them then, credit to them. (laughs) Yeah, I saw that when it (laughs) kind of first broke and he was, you know, defending his teammates saying, hey, let's not do that. That's not a good thing to do. And then they said, oh, they're throwing at the refs. He's like, Okay, that's okay, basically, was how I took it. But um, I understand it was a couple of tough calls and, you know, a tough game. And, you know, that, that was a team that everyone kind of thought might have a chance to make a run uh, in the playoffs. And so, but, yeah, you can't say that stuff. You can't say that. No, nope, They're going to get you every time on that. And Antonio Brown, who had the big blow up on the sidelines a few weeks ago for Tampa and New York, says that he is fine mentally. So there's no mental issues with A.B. So that's good news. Yeah, that is, that's... At least that's coming from him. I'm not sure a lot of experts would agree with that. And somebody, you asked about, will they be playing baseball this year? Just saw this come across that the Major League Baseball Players Association is going to make a counter offer on Monday. So maybe, maybe they're going to start loosening up the gridlock. I hope so. Baseball really probably can't afford a work stoppage. They're no, fighting I was to get just, some eyeballs. Yeah, they need to they need to get this figured out. Or I mean, it's already they're already losing, you know, viewership and fan. They can't afford to not have a product put on TV. Fun show tonight. Thanks everybody for being a part of this one. Thanks for talking some Kool Aid, some ping pong, all that stuff was uh, a lot of fun tonight. Jeremiah Searles will make an appearance with us tomorrow night. We'll hear from a Husker swimmer tomorrow night. Fred Hoiberg with a press conference to talk about the COVID issues within the program. All of that coming your way tomorrow night. Thanks to Tim for being a part of this one, and all of you. Good night.
hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macan if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Get your free COVID-19 vaccine at hy V. Go to hy vcom slash MyPharmacy to schedule an appointment. That's right. Just go online and reserve your time. Getting your vaccine has never been easier. This is your shot to help protect yourself and your loved ones from the COVID-19 virus. Just go online to hy vcom slash MyPharmacy and schedule